I'm Dana K. White of AslobChemsClean.com and author of Organizing for the Rest of Us. And today I'm going to share three simple laundry tricks to make your laundry life easier. Just to be clear, this is not some trick that's going to help you catch up on laundry. This is not going to make laundry feel like you never actually have to do it and it just happens and you always have clean clothes. For that, you need to watch my laundry day videos to learn how I caught up on laundry and how I keep laundry under control and I'm no longer worried all the time that we're going to have clean clothes. These are three quick little tricks that have been helpful for us in our laundry routine. So number one, color code your hangers. So I have three kids who all happen to do their own laundry now, but at the time when I was doing their laundry, um, it would get really confusing to figure out whose clothes were whose. And I tried to hang most things because that keeps things from getting wadded up and wrinkled and less likely to go back through the laundry when they haven't actually been worn. Uh, but anyway, so I would hang things up all the time, but it would get confusing because my kids, because my kids go to a school district that has standardized dress, which means a lot of their clothes look very similar when you first take them out. And so it would get a little confusing because I would try to keep it all straight by having things hung in certain different places. But then when I would go to put things away, then I would have to remember, wait, whose things were these? Or I would get it all mixed up. Anyway, especially my two boys who went through quite a few years where they wore the same size, but they wanted to have different clothes. So the simple trick that I... Uh, couldn't believe I didn't think of sooner, which some of you may be thinking, oh, doesn't everyone do this? <laughs> uh, I didn't for a long time and it changed everything. And that was color code my hangers. Um, so we have white for one kid, black for another kid, and color for another kid because the colored ones are sometimes more difficult to find uh, more of and it was easy for us to keep track. You could probably guess which of my three kids got the ones with colors on it. Anyway, so by doing this, it allowed me to just figure out one time whose item that was. And as it came out of the dryer, I would hang it on their color of hanger. And then I didn't have to think through or analyze again, wait, whose stuff was this? Wait, what? Okay, made it super simple and easy for those things to get put away. The next quick tip is to have a sock basket. My friend Connie has eight kids. And when people would ask her, oh, how do you manage with that? She said, oh, it's easy. I don't fold underwear. <laughs> this makes me think of that. Uh, basically, I, for years, would try to match up socks, remember whose socks were whose, put them in the right drawers. And then I realized, wait a minute, why am I doing all that? So I just decided that since socks can't get wrinkled or even if they do, they get unwrinkled the minute you put them on, whatever. I just decided I am going to dump all socks unmatched into the sock basket and then tell everybody that your socks are in the sock basket. So when you need to find a matching pair, the person who's actually going to wear them, that's who finds the matching pair. So this is how I deal with socks. They come out of the dryer and they go in there. Okay. Now we actually don't use this anymore because the hatred of the sock basket by everyone but me was very helpful in encouraging, inspiring the people in my house to uh, just keep doing their own laundry, you know? So that's a win-win in my opinion. And then there's someone else in my house who also hated the sock basket. And that person decided that they would prefer to go ahead and use the sock bag that they'd had for kind of a long time and didn't really see the purpose in using. They wanted to keep their own socks separate from everyone else's. And so they started using the laundry bag. Okay. So it was a win-win for the time that we used it. It worked. There were people who didn't love it, but them not loving it just resulted in great things happening and people doing their own laundry. The last laundry routine trick that I'm going to tell you is the one that has been personally so incredibly helpful for me. I use it literally every single time I do laundry and that is my laundry tongs. 
Um, I actually think it was someone on YouTube, so maybe it's one of you. Years and years and years and years and years ago when I did a video about my washer and dryer, um, I talked about how this washer and dryer, it's a large capacity one. I'm not particularly short and yet I cannot reach in the bottom of this, especially now in this house where maybe by the time this video comes out, we'll have changed this. I doubt it. Um, but I can't even open up my washing machine the whole way because of this shelf. And if I turned it this way, then you wouldn't be able to get into this room. That's a storage room. Okay. So yeah, I use this all the time but even before i had this unique weird situation i use this every single load because there's always a couple of like little things a washcloth a sock a pair of underwear something that's way in the back and these larger capacity machines are really difficult if your arms are not super long to get stuff out of there so the laundry tongs are for that um just tell the people in your house those are laundry tongs when they are very helpful and bring them back to the kitchen it's not like that big of a deal, but I have, this is my pair of laundry tongs. I also use them in the dryer, even though technically, yes, I can get everything just makes it easier to get that stuff in the back with my laundry tongs. So sock basket, colored hangers, laundry tongs, tips to make your life easier. If you're completely overwhelmed by laundry, go watch the laundry day video. Okay, there are actually two of them. There's one where I explain how laundry day works, how to get it started in your home. And then there's a second video where I answer all of your mini excuses. Because I know the excuses, because I had the excuses. So, all right, happy laundering, everyone.